Hmm? My vision? <laughs> I suppose the Lord of Geo must be a fan of the opera. Perhaps the old man was so delighted with my performance that he decided to grant me a vision. The elders of the troupe are always harping on about rock and roll being a bad influence. Needless to say, they never approve of me going to see Xin Yan's shows. It's for your own good, they say. <laughs> All it's really about is their inability to accept anything new. Whatever. Those old fogies can't tell me what to do. I'm going to keep rocking out at Xin Yan's gigs. Every week. And that's that. Ah, yes. Hu Tao. Very expressive face. And she has a sharp mind, too. You can be discussing the most mundane thing in the world, and she'll always bring out a string of witty remarks. I admire her a lot. There's never a dull moment when you have friends like her around. The customs of the opera are very particular, and are passed down from generation to generation. Sometimes, I find that I only know the hows, but not the whys behind what we do. But when speaking with Zhang Li, it is abundantly evident that he knows the origins behind almost everything. Who wouldn't be delighted to have such a connoisseur in their audience? The Tian Chuan is a big spender and has made several very generous donations to our troupe. I can only return her generosity by delivering my best possible performance. Oh, so you are also acquainted with Xing Chou? <laughs> he is quite the clever one, and with a sharp wit as well. The moment you let your guard down, you're at risk of becoming the butt of one of his practical jokes. And don't say I didn't warn you. I have long since known the divine damsel of devastation inside out, back to front, but it was only very recently that I learned that the divine damsel in question is actually a real person. Life is full of strange twists sometimes. My only hope is that she can find true friendship and never be lonely again. I have yet to see the Yuhong ever attend an opera performance. Now that I think about it, whenever I happen to see her out on the street, she always seems to be in a great hurry. Kaidahara Kazaha is among the many outlanders who enjoy Li Yue opera. Whether it's an orchestral section or a percussive piece, he always sits there and listens quietly. <sighs> Talk about great manners. At the start of my opera career, I have to say, I did let the standing ovations from our audiences go to my head a little. It wasn't long before I developed a captious attitude. If I didn't like the script, or if the stage was too small, or if I thought there weren't enough people in the audience, I would refuse to perform. <sighs> Looking back now, it was all terribly arrogant of me. My goodness. I shall never let myself become so vain again. <laughs>